the persona for me is structured in such a way that largely if you are reasonably unprejudiced a persona which is acceptable to most people in the world that is a carefully crafted persona that is not important that is only a knock on the door but if you open the door if your doors are open then i am available to you in more ways than you can logically understand guru's grace is not designed to fulfill your plans but life's plan for you when i say life's plan for you the sun neither rises nor sets but what a glorious deception <laughs> so from small things to big things from the littlest of things in our lives to the largest things that you perceive that is a series of deceptions to be able to see the deception from backstage if you have been in the theater not the okay even the cinema theater <coughs> the drama is all real what's happening there but it's just one light bulb and two wheels spinning to go to the projection room and see it's just one light bulb and two wheels spinning that's all so much drama love will happen war will happen fight will happen peace will happen an enlightenment may happen <laughs> but it's just a light bulb and two wheels you're a little more real because This is a play of fire elements. <laughs> It is not about one who does not enjoy the play or the cinema is a fool. But one who gets caught up in the play or a cinema is a much bigger fool. One who manages to enjoy the play to the hilt and still never ever is entangled with the process who understands that it starts with advertisement and closes with the titles <laughs> have you seen the titles in the cemetery <laughs> <laughs> all the actors who have been till now <laughs> if you do not understand it's just a play in between if you get caught up with the play that is when so many things which are not real becomes real and what is absolutely real will be completely lost so the the work of a guru is an uninteresting job it's not like taking you to the movies it's like taking you on a tour of the projection room <laughs> but i promise you if you behave i'll take you to the movies <laughs> so uh why should we destroy the beauty of the movie by going into the projection room and see that 
There are no brave men there. There are no beautiful women there. There is no great drama there, just two wheels in a light bulb. Why should one destroy the beauty of the cinema by going and visiting the projection room? If the cinema was about some other actors, it wouldn't be necessary, we could just enjoy the movie. But the problem is, you have a role to play. It's best to know that it is just two wheels spinning in a light bulb. It was just other actors playing and you could just sit in your chair and watch and pop the corn. <laughs> then we could just ignore the projection room, just enjoy the movie, who the hell cares how it comes. But now you have a role to play and you are not holding the hand of the director. If a director does not hold the hand of an actor, even the stars, the very well-known stars will be a complete mess. So it doesn't matter how brilliant you are, how capable you are, if you don't hold the hand of the Creator, your life will be a complete mess. It doesn't matter. If you're successful, it'll be one kind of mess. If you're a failure, it'll be another kind of mess. If you know how to play the game, if you know how to play your role, and still you're conscious of the mechanics of the projection room, then you can control the cinema the way you want it. If you hold the hand of the director, then it can be a wonderful experience. And above all, you can retire and watch the movie. If you are willing, I will be available to you in more ways than you can logically understand. Because a guru is not a person. You may meet him, you may greet him, you may even mingle with him, but the personality or the person of the guru is not the important aspect. The persona for me, is structured in such a way that largely, if you're reasonably unprejudiced, a persona which is acceptable to most people in the world, that is a carefully crafted persona. That is not important, that is only a knock on the door. But if you open the door, if your doors are open, then I am available to you in more ways than you can logically understand because this is a presence, this is an energetic possibility. As I have repeatedly said, I have initiated more people who I have not met than those that I have met. When they are open, it is possible. This whole a uh, tradition talking about a guru will be available to you when you are willing, when your doors are open. You have heard this in many different ways, a guru will come when you're ready. It does not mean he has to come as a person, it simply means when you are open, when you're ready, this energy, this presence which is always seeking to penetrate and make a life blossom. Like sunlight is always seeking how to touch every leaf, every flower, every life and make it blossom. Just like that it is seeking because this is not of an individual, this is not of a person, this is the nature of grace. You just have to work towards your openness. You can be at home, you can be wherever, but the important thing is to work towards the steps of how to keep yourself open for a period of time. 
If you achieve this, we can initiate you wherever you are. Once you create this openness, I am not just with you, I shall be in you. This is not an empty promise, nor is this a bombastic statement. I want you to understand that dimension that you refer to as Guru is not about me as a person, it is a possibility. It is a great privilege and the benevolence of creation that in some way you become the instrument of that possibility. Being an instrument of that possibility means that in some way you have kept your persona away, that you don't stand in the way. This is all you have to do for yourself to be like a guru, that you have kept your personality away. You know how to get out of your own way. If this one thing happens, you also become that possibility. It is my wish and my blessing that you must know this. Allow me to go through you in such a way that who you are will become an infinite possibility. This is what receiving a guru means. May this become a living reality in this life. A guru is not here to interpret scriptures, but to take you to another dimension of life. People think a guru is their philosopher <laughs> or a guide, or these days a friend. Well, he is willing to be all that, but that's not the purpose for which you go to a guru. If darkness has to become light, something has to burn. <laughs> That's the only way in the physical world, light happens, something has to burn. So guru is not someone who uh, gives you theories and philosophies, not someone who has scriptural knowledge and going to interpret scriptures for you. Not a friend or a guide who holds a torch for you. He is the torch. He is burning. If you wish to know what it is, you should burn too. You do not go to a guru for solace. He is not a tranquilizer, he is there to awaken you. It's wonderful out here at Isha Yoga Center. The monsoon, or the first few showers of monsoon has started. Very cool breeze, everything fresh and green. <laughs> it looks like all life has come awake. Is my wish and my blessing. You should come awake in the fullest possible way. That's the purpose. That is the destination that life becomes so awake that it's beyond life and death. What a guru means is, one who is willing to become your doorway, not a destination. A guru is not your destination, he is your doorway. Please walk through this and may you find ultimate well-being for yourself and may you offer this to every other life upon this planet. May your unique inner nature fully blossom to bring fragrance and beauty to the world. Guru's grace is not designed to fulfill your plans, but life's plan for you. When I say life's plan for you, your plans are all cooked in your head, 
not connected to the life that you are. So, the business of a guru is to fulfill you as a life, not to fulfill your desires, not to fulfill your kinks, not to fulfill your fancies. Your guru's desire is to fulfill the life that you are. Inner dimensions are uncharted terrain. It is sensible to take directions. A guru is just a, a live road map. If you traverse uncharted terrain and if you don't have a road map, to find something that's right next to you, you may take a lifetime. Unfortunately, this is the reality with most spiritual seekers that to find something that's within themselves, they take a lifetime. It shouldn't take that much time if only they are willing to take directions. Well, I see <laughs> when I trek in the mountains in Himalayas, particularly in Nepal and Tibet, which I'm doing every year, the Sherpa, an illiterate Sherpa out there, whatever he says, I do <laughs> because he knows the terrain best. Someone who has already traversed the terrain, it's best to take instructions, it's best to listen because otherwise simple things will become unnecessarily complicated. May you know the peaks of your inner nature.